You must actually teach on the last day before Christmas break. This story comes from my favorite teacher in high school, Charlie. The time was the 80s. He was a chemistry teacher. Mild, short man, but devious. If you tried to take a nap during his class he would just keep talking. Walk over to the ammonia bottle, wet a rag, and drop it beside your head, all while acting like nothing was going on. Charlie, for quite some time, would let students have fun on the last day before break, until the principal told him that he had to teach the kids something. So he complied. He set up an experiment for that day. The ingredients included sucrose, glucose, in solution, protein pellets, and, I had to look it up, 4-hydroxy-3-methoxybenzaldehyde. As the students happily performing their experiment, the principal sticks his head in the door to ensure that Charlie is actually having them do something productive and is happily surprised. Charlie fills him in on the experiment. In big scientific words, as the principal is about to leave, he remarks, Why does it smell like peanut brittle in here? Quote, and every year after that, we made peanut brittle on the last day of class for the semester. Nice. I was expecting something more like, Okay, today they'll learn about nitrogen triiodide. Your experiment came from this paper. Partial thermal degradation of mixed saccharides with protein inclusions copyright 1973. Revised 1991, which I think was inspired by a paper written at MIT. You can find this document using Google. It's a fun read. My almost retired chemistry teacher would teach us about how skiing works, how to establish a still. Is it flammable? And how? How explosives kill people and what the dead bodies are like afterwards? How many people would sniff a rag with butyric acid hung in the hallway with a sign, do not smell? Ah yes. Mr. McCoy was an interesting old coot. Our delicious compliance. For those that aren't chem majors or baking enthusiasts, 4-hydroxy-3-methoxybenzaldehyde is better known as vanillin, less than. I've done this experiment many many times. My lesson came from a 1954 textbook by esteemed chemist Betty Crocker. The first time was small. Two batches. The last year I conducted the experiment, it was something to the tune 125 pounds. 50 batches. Would give it as gifts take it to work for both shifts. Even would drop off about 10 pounds at my dentist's office. Big hit there. I had to stop due to carpal tunnel. Too painful to properly agitate the solution. We used to make hokey pokey at the end of term in both physics and chemistry. Don't forget the sodium hydrogen carbonate. It's important for the final texture. Highly recommend but not always included, glucose, in solution. Modern procedure calls for fructose, glucose 55 to 45 AQ, 8085 degrees bricks, due to availability. My AP teachers in high school did something similar. All of them figured that if you took the AP test, that was like a final for their class. The administration said they had to give us a final, my AP Physics final was building a popsicle, glue, and rubber band catapult. We spent the last day of class launching whatever we could find. My AP Chem final was a very easy quiz and each student had to bring in one item for the final group. Experiment. Predetermined by the teacher. Some of the items were milk, chocolate chips, sprinkles, cocoa powder, etc. We made liquid nitrogen ice cream. Your teacher was Mr. Dude from Recess. Protein pellets. H ha ha ha. Ha 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 awesome. When I was in school the last day was always reserved for fun. In elementary, Santa would go round and hand out lovely big candy canes to each kid and we would make a Christmas craft. 
junior high, we were free to roam from class to class playing board games we brought to school and sharing Christmas treats. High school was just pure freedom. Board games. Extra treats in the cafeteria. A movie in the gym. In history class, the last week before high school graduation, we learned about every event in Billy Joel's We Didn't Start the Fire. Still one of my favorite school memories. You left out a few ingredients, but here is the entire protocol. HTTP slash slash cckeemdeach.com slash wp dash content slash upload slash 2013 slash 12 slash peanabrit.pdf I was expecting a big boom. I still liked the story. My chemistry teacher did the same thing but with making ice cream, using salt to make it cold. My fourth grade teacher was a lot like your principal. At the beginning of the year she gave us a booklet and a calendar that she had printed. The booklet contained classwork that she expected us to do every day, including during holidays and Saturdays in every subject. In other words, she had us do classwork six days a week and even if there were snow days. We were expected to do homework. We had to take all of our school books home every day during the winter months to make sure that we didn't miss anything, whether we had homework in that class or not to make sure we didn't miss out. That year, we had nearly a month of snow days and didn't get to enjoy much of it at all was expecting him to give a lesson on how to look productive whole being lazy, this is better. A few years ago our district said our class parties in elementary had to include core. Learning sounded daunting until we realized how many basic skills could be turned into a game. Treat, craft, etc. I wish I knew what peanut brittle was before arriving to the conclusion. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.